Hello. Uh, welcome to Interlagos. Let's go for a tour. So straight out of uh, pit lane. Pit lane is pure evil here at Interlagos. I've crashed here more times than I'd like to think about. So straight out of pit lane we come on to Reta Aposta. Aposta. The uh, I apologise in advance for the pronunciations. Then um, I've forgotten the name of that corner. This is Ferradura. Laran Yinho Laran Yinho is that corner? I don't know how to pronounce that either. Then we have uh, Pinarino. And um cannot remember the name of that one either. Melgurho, Mel Gulho. Something like that. And then Yun Chao. Yun Chao. And the start from the straight. So let's go for a lap. I have the microphone literally right in front of my face because I've done this recording like five or six times and you can't hear what I'm saying. So if I sound tired it's because this has taken way longer than I was hoping it would take. talk you through this lap. I don't know if that one wasn't particularly good, I don't think. No. <coughs> okay, so over the start finish straight. I'm going to break just before the 50 marker. Down into third. Sacrifice the exit of turn one to get a better exit onto Curva del Sol. Curva de Sol. I'm butchering these corner names. Uh, and then I break just on that concrete strip there, down into third again. Onto the power as soon as possible. As with every corner really. I mean that's bad that's pointless to say. Uh, down into third for Ferradour. Just carry as much speed as you can. You don't want to run too far onto the outside curbing because it's bumpy and it will mess up your entry into the tight twisty part of the circuit. Just want to try and carry as much speed as possible. There I go again with the uh, world's worst advice. You basically want to go around the track as fast as possible. Excellent advice. Minimise the steering inputs up over the hill to uh, keep carrying the speed. And there you go, that probably wasn't any better than the other one. So down into third, flip the apex. Basically, 
you're setting yourself up. Whoops. Setting yourself up for a good entry of onto Curva del Sol there. You're not really worrying about that first turn too much. Unless you're trying to pass somebody. Uh, way too much brake in there. I can't talk and drive. Just cannot do it. You can cut a lot of curb there. Much more than I did there. You can almost cut all the way across onto the grass before it gives you an off track. This is quite a tricky corner because it's downhill and the, the rear of the car will try to snap away on you. So you've got to be a little bit careful with throttle application. Now that last turn I seem to be having more luck taking that in third than I do in second. Right, I'll do one more lap before I shut up. <laughs> 